Hey y'all, I'm Shayna and I'm back with another review. This is for Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode 11, makeups, slip ups, and cover ups. And let's just go ahead and get into it. If y'all are new here, if you're not, if you enjoy the content, check out my other content. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It will help me with the algorithm because I'm trying to grow my channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off. And that was with Drew running out of that restaurant. Um, they're in Portugal. Remember, she was arguing with Sheree last week. So she's running out. And Candy was like, and scene. Ciao. I don't know. I wish Candy wouldn't have done that in front of the group, if nothing else. So uh, Sheree comes out and Drew is losing it. Clearly, there was a deeper issue here. I'm just going to say this. I try. <laughs> I was supposed to have this review out like two days ago. I kept falling asleep. Like, I don't know if like, you know, I'm getting distracted right now or what's going on. But remember when Real Housewives used to be so exciting and like Sunday nights, we would be at the TV at eight o'clock. Not no more. I, them days is gone, honey. Anyway. <laughs> Candy has no compassion. Like, I know Drew be acting, but those look like real tears. And even if you think they're not, don't let the group know that. Like, I, I don't know. I ain't like that. <laughs> I, no, it seemed like nobody genuinely likes Drew. Like, Drew's husband don't like Drew. Drew's daughter be curving her when she want hugs and kisses. The ladies don't like her. She don't got no friends on the show. Like, we need to give Drew some grace, Okay. <laughs> so Sheree apologized Kenya was like you know what let's just split the 1k like let's just split it between it's eight of us okay how much is that 125 150 let's just split it between us okay and then we can get it paid everyone's like oh it's only a thousand dollars it's only a thousand dollars just pay her so she can go I get that but with somebody like that who's that petty is you gonna give a thousand dollars? She gonna come back for more. It's gonna be five thousand dollars. She gonna come back. She gonna keep coming back for more and more and more. So I wouldn't give her nothing either. And I mean, the streets was talking. They said Dre, uh, Dre, Drew won the case. So I guess she went the right route. After Sheree and Drew hug it out, Sonya tries to play peacemaker, even though this supposed to be Sheree trip, <clears throat> and. Then we move on to Candy. Candy was saying, you know, she's working so hard that she feels like she's still building. And everybody's like, girl, what? You? Candy Worldwide Burris? The only millionaire on the on the cast? And she's like, yeah, girl, because, you know, I know what it's like not to have. So I never want to feel that feeling again. And it shows. But, uh. Your family, your husband, you know they need you. So you need to be present. Um, Sheree got the audacity to chime in. As if she's so busy. Talking about she knows about work-life balance. Girl, we know you know. So. Oh. Anyway, so the next day, <laughs> we have a boring itinerary. Um, we see Manietta. I forgot Manietta was there. I ain't gonna lie. I forgot she was there. I liked Mayetta when she was on that show with Kevin Hart, ex-wife, and some others. What was it? Ex-wives? Highly famous? I forgot what it was called. I had one season. 50 Cent shut it down, honey. But that was good. This, she's forgettable. So, of course, Kenya is late because she's only on time for her events and her events only. She finally comes out with hotel slippers on in the rain and slips and falls. Why you got them shoes on outside? And then she was just hemming and hawing. Mm, the tea, I was nasty. Mm, la, la. Like, no regard for nobody. And it's just, it'd be one thing if she didn't have expectations when it was her boring events. But you want everybody to be early, 15 minutes early when it's yours. But when it's anybody else's, you don't even care to be at least 10 minutes late. <laughs> like, I'm usually late, but an hour is ridiculous. So she slips and falls and it looks like it was her tailbone. Oof. That ain't no joke. I slipped and fell down the steps three weeks ago and my tailbone still hurt. Like it hurts to sit here right now. Like it still hurts. It, it ain't no joke. <laughs> and you know. However, she 
she rushes and gets in the ER and I'm like, she gonna go to the hospital if she don't do nothing else. Honey, I think an ice pack and, you know, some ibuprofen would have sufficed. But I guess, you know, I guess she just didn't want to do the day's events because that's why she was late. She didn't really want to go no way. And she was like, candy can come. And I was like, <laughs> like, I know I'm your friend and everything, but how are you just going to volunteer me? I mean, ask me. Okay. So then Courtney going to tell Drew, like, oh, well, that's karma. That's karma for her being a mean girl. Her telling you not to touch her, which you shouldn't be touching people anyway when you don't know them like that. It's not enough for her to hurt herself. Like, what? Courtney, that was nasty. So nasty. So rude. <laughs> so... Um, after Kenya goes to the emergency room, the ladies have to continue on with their day. So they get on a sprinter. Courtney mentions a South Carolina trip where Bolo was there and says that she was like, she's from down the street from where they was at. Why are we talking about this? Like, I see that y'all trying to bring this Bolo thing back up and make it a thing. We don't care. The South Carolina trip was uh, a couple years ago at this point. <laughs> we don't care. Okay, y'all dragged it on too long then. That was probably the worst season. And this season might be right behind it. So, they walk around Farmer's Market. Snooze fast, boring, blah. Y'all see why I was falling asleep. Then the ladies are offended because Candy and Kenya have to wait in line at the emergency room like common folk. They should be treated like VIPs. Don't they know who these people are? No, they don't know. And no, they don't care. And if I was sitting here um, in the emergency room and you let some famous person just go ahead of me, that's going to be that's gonna be a problem. They are not above anyone. We are all humans, okay? Especially my dad was the main one. Like, girl, we, don't need, we really don't know who you are. Girl. So they have lunch while it's still raining. You know, Sheree really did not think this trip through. Why don't we ever... I want to go somewhere where there's a nice sunny beach, some sand, clear waters. What is this? But, I mean, it's not my trip. Let me mind my business. <laughs> it's a stamp on the passport, honey. I'm sure Portugal is beautiful. And when it's not raining. Um, Marlo is gloating about her man or her rent man or whatever. Sheree mentioned Kenya calling her relationship fake. And Mayetta, the guard dog, chimes in. <sighs> Girl, who even asked you? Why are you even here? What? <sighs> so, and then she was like, trying to say, basically, Marlo did too much for that Roy thing. No, she didn't. Even when she had opportunity to be like how uh, um, Kenya was, like, oh, he was in my DMs, girl. You know, he was trying to talk to me, girl. She didn't. She was like, we went out on a lunch date. It wasn't nothing. Didn't turn into nothing. That's it. I just recognized him. That's it. That's all. She really could have dragged this because we know she needs a storyline, but she didn't. Um, but, you know, my getter want to make cause a scene. And plus, she didn't look loyal last season. So she going above and beyond. Suddenly, Martel calls Sheree. And I have heard more phone calls on people's personal devices this season than I don't think I ever have until this season. First, it was over there in Huntsville. Sheree was calling Martel. Now they're doing it over here. What is this? <laughs> mm. Anyway. So, the ladies informed Drew that Candy, uh, first of all, back to Martel and Sheree, he was like, oh, you know, we don't never be going this long without doing it, so I want you to dream about me. <sighs> Sir, let us know that you know they filming without letting us know that you know they filming. What was all that? Y'all don't even live near each other, so please. But anyway, the ladies informed Drew that Candy said, and seen, and... Um, Sheree brings up Marlo, the Marlo and Drew beef. I forgot they even had a little, you know, a little tiff. I forgot all about it. Kenya and Candy leave the hospital. And of course, Candy's eating. Uh, the ladies do another boring adventure. Then, uh, the ladies have a pajama party in Sheree's room. Sheree gets up before the ladies arrive. They get a call from, Sheree gets a call from Martel. It has listed boyfriend yet again. I wish they'd stop calling this man her boyfriend when he said on his show that that is his friend girl. Please, you're going to ruin his chances of getting his ex-wife back. Stop it. <laughs> so Sheree, Candy walked in and Sheree going to say, Candy looked like Cleo from Set It Off. 
Candy looked fine. She actually looks realistic. Like, why am I getting dressed? Yeah, why would I be getting dressed up in silk pajamas just to be sitting here with y'all? Like, Drew got on, you know, she Drew looked like she's looking for husband number two, got her cleavage and stuff out. I ain't doing all that for y'all. I'd be like, Candy, with well, my sweats on and my straight back's getting ready for bed. And you better be glad she ain't had no bonnet on. Um, so, Drake confronts Candy. I'm sorry, I was in and out. I might have missed something. If I did, let me know in the comments. But anywho, Drake confronts... Why do I keep saying Dre? It's late. Drew confronts Candy and said, um... You you talking about me seeing and seen like I be acting like I don't have enough acting gigs as it is, girl. <laughs> name them, name them, cause I we ain't heard about them. Let us know. Let us know where where, where is it at? Is it on two B B T plus where so we can check it out. We got the support, Drew, honey. So Candy ends up apologizing. They mentioned drop it with Drew. She said it was doing well. Okay. Nobody threw any shade. It was nice. It was nice. Sheree said, oh, well, y'all not buying no t-shirts. And Marlo said, well, y'all ain't renting none of my clothes either. Sonya was like, look, Sheree, we just glossed over Marlo's um, rent, rent clothes rental uh, website or whatever. <laughs> Move back on to Sheree. And she was like, your website wasn't working. Okay. Enough. And this is Sheree's friend. But Sonya's not being biased. And why does Marlo keep calling her Sanya? That lady's name is, she said her name is Sonya. Now I got a friend that's Jamaican, like Sonya, because I heard Sonya say, it don't matter, you can call me either or. And my friend the same way with her name. But no, Sonya sounds better. Sanya sounds like an a elderly woman's name. Why do y'all keep doing that? <laughs> she said it's Sonya, it's Sonya, goodness. But enough about her. So they end up buying something. Everyone starts dancing, having fun, or trying to anyway. And then after an hour later, production wrapped. The Bolo incident comes up again. They're supposed to be pretending like they don't know that they're secretly filming with those hidden cameras. Nothing else makes sense because why would we be talking about that South Carolina trip? Why? <laughs> y'all not even talking about something from last season. Y'all talking about something from two, three seasons ago. With cast members that aren't even on the show anymore. So, they mentioned Drew kissing Latoya. And I think, I mean, I don't really care, but I, I believe Candy. I believe that Drew did kiss Latoya from the way she acting. And plus, Latoya said it. Now, Latoya could have been lying. She ain't here no more to defend herself, so we really don't know. And then, shout out to Latoya. I saw her on my Instagram. You know how they just be advertising people. And I saw that she was pregnant again. I said, this one thing her and Fallon going to do is have a baby, honey. So, Candy was hot because she's like, I don't, don't call me no liar. I don't got to lie. I seen it with my own two eyes. You kissed that girl and you liked it. <laughs> but... Candy leaving Portugal early anyway, so it don't even much matter. Drew said in her confessional, she never ever kissed a girl ever in life, never have, never will. Cut to preview of three months later with what we've finally been waiting to see. Her and Ralph rushing down to divorce court to file them papers. And it coming out that Drew might be messing with some a woman. She said she didn't kiss a girl, but it might be, you know, a grown woman, a full grown stud. It might be a little bit different. I guess it's the way, you know, <laughs> it's the way you phrase it. It's semantics. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.